What's up guys, Brand here with Dude Fish. Uh, I'm at the house today. Um, I'm gonna give a uh, update on my pivot drive. A hundred hour update. I've got about a hundred, probably 150 hours on it already. Uh, I fished two Hobie BOS tournaments, two day tournaments. I had like four days of practice between both of them. And probably got about eight or nine all day trips just fishing trips on it so I've got a pretty good amount of hours on it and uh, I put this thing through a lot I mean I've, I beat this thing on stumps logs the bottom I've, uh, I've been pretty hard on it and uh, so far I hadn't broke broken anything on it yet I'm still pretty impressed with it I was worried about the durability of it, but uh, uh, like I said, so far I hadn't broke anything on it. And uh, I've hit a lot of stuff. I've hit a lot, of, a lot of stumps and logs and all kinds of stuff with this thing. And uh, that kick-up feature, it'll just pop up and then just pedal on, and it'll pop back down. You can go. So uh, very impressed with it. I really, really like the uh, boat control you get with it. With the propulsion being in the back, uh, you can just swing and nose that boat in any direction you want. It almost pretty much uh, turn on a dime, so you can do quick adjustments of your uh, nose of your boat with it and uh, keep you on track to where you're fishing. Uh, if you turn it all the way to the left to right and pedal, you pretty much do a 360. Not a complete turn on a dime, but just about. Speed wise, is it the fastest thing out there? No, it's not. But uh, I can keep anywhere from like 3.2 to 3.5 average speed. I'm not really in a race anyway, anyway when I get out on the water. Uh, for me, it's more about efficiency while you're fishing. And uh, it is that, it's pretty efficient. And like I said, boat control also. Um, if I'm fishing down a bank, and this has happened pretty good many times, if I'm fishing down a bank or along a little stretch and I see a log or a stump or something, uh, if I was in my old town, you know, I'd have to go around it or pick the drive up or whatever. Well, this, I just pedal, pedal right into it and let it, uh, let the kick up feature do its thing and go right over it. I uh, really don't even worry about it, and uh, it'll pop up and go right over it, and uh, it'll pop back down. You just keep keep fishing uh, without ever missing a beat. So I really like that feature of it. Uh, as far as uh, smoothness, it's smooth. It's real smooth, no resistance at all. It almost feels like you're pedaling a uh, bicycle without a chain on it. Uh, no resistance whatsoever, and uh, sm pretty sm smooth as silk, guys. Uh, I really like the uh, steering on it, the lever, the system. Uh, it's made really well. Seems like it's heavy duty components. And uh, see back there, you can see it turning. A lot of people asked me if that cable, I was worried about the cable getting in the way, but when I have my tackle back there, the cable just lays off to the side or even on top. It don't get in the way at all. So I kind of got it uh, a zip tie right there to hold it in place. They give you some clamps put right here some little hooks but uh i didn't like it over here this far toward the center i liked it laying over more toward the toward the side of the boat and then it curves around and centers up pretty nicely so no problem whatsoever with the drive cable uh, it stays out of the way 
and uh, does a pretty good job. You can see back here the uh, rest of the steering system right here. It's all heavy duty. You can just mash that button and pop it loose if you want to pop this pivot drive off. Uh, it takes no time whatsoever to just pull this pin and pop it off. And when I'm traveling with it on my trailer, I usually just pop it off. I'll, I'll show you how I do that right now. That's all there is to it guys, I'll just pop it off, put it down there in the uh, back well, and I'll usually wrap this bungee cord around it, this holds my Plano boxes when I stack them back here, I'll just wrap that around a couple times, and uh, put my strap over here to hold the back end down, and uh, I just travel with it just like that, have no trouble whatsoever, and uh, I'll get to the lake or wherever I'm going and I'll pop it back on. Uh, don't take but just a second. That's it guys, easy as that. The kick up feature I was talking about. Uh, let me show you the kick up feature. I know what I was talking about when I hit a stump or a rock or something. It's right in there. Here's the release cord. Let me hook this back up right quick. Alright, so there's the release cord. When you pull it, it releases this little spring right there it just it just catches on that boat locks down a lot of people have had trouble when they go in reverse they say it's popping up but mine hasn't had that trouble uh, at all so maybe you can adjust this somehow but mine's fine I had not had any trouble out of it so I'm not gonna mess with it When you kick, when you hit something pretty hard, the thing will pop up. That spring will release right there. And when you go over it and start pedaling, it'll lock back in place. So uh, that's what I really like about it. And uh, the Pursuit being a great paddling boat. Being in shallow water, another thing I like is just, here's the pull cord mechanism. Just got that pulley with a rope cleat right there to lock it down. When you're in shallow water and you want to pull this thing up, just pull that rope right there, that thing will pop up. Then you can just lock it down on that cleat right there. That thing's way up out of the water. And you can just paddle and fish. Like I said, with this being a great paddling boat, uh, shallow water, shallow backwater, just pop that up and paddle and uh, fish. That's uh, another great thing I like about it. Um, one of the downsides, or not downsides, I'd say a con of this system is uh, like when you get, I've gotten some line on my prop, wound up in my prop, or like some 
vines is some weeds or some weeds. Now, I know props are not good in weeds. They don't like weeds, uh, no matter which one it is. But uh, <clears throat> cleaning it off, you, I've had to pull up on the bank a couple of times and get out and uh, clean it off, clean the line out. Uh, so getting to the prop to clean it off, that's one of the cons. But uh, that's probably about the only ones that, for me, that I see with it. Uh, another thing, uh, one thing I wish New Canoe would do was maybe uh, come out with some kind of rudder plate that you could uh, maybe attach to this, to stick out a little bit, maybe come up like that. Uh, maybe with some screws or some, some kind of uh, clamps or something. You could probably come up with something on my own if I really wanted to. But uh, maybe if they could come up with something like that. I've noticed like when I'm drifting in the wind or whatever and not not pedaling, the wind's just blowing me. Uh, if you turn the steer and it will turn slowly, but if you had some kind of rudder plate on there, I think that'd really be cool to so you can kind of control your drift a little more. And uh, so hopefully uh new canoe will come out with something like that uh, I think it would be a big a big help uh, if you had something like that mounted on that uh, pivot drive arm I know they're supposed to be coming out with just the rudder you can replace the pivot drive with like if you're paddling or whatever but uh, if they had one you could attach to the pivot drive uh, to help with windy situations I think that'd be pretty cool I'm very happy with it guys and like I said I've put it put it through hell and uh, I hadn't babied it whatsoever um, I've hit stuff run over stuff and did all kind of things with it and hadn't broke it yet so uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far it's held up good and uh, Hopefully, uh, on down the road, it'll stay intact. Uh, another thing about new canoe that I really didn't know anything about is this free parts for life. So if you break anything, I think you can just go on their website and uh, fill out a form and they'll send you a free part. You don't have to buy it or anything. Uh, that right there is pretty good, pretty good deal. So. If I do break anything, I'll be trying that out, see how that works, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, like I said, I've put a lot of hours on it, and uh, it's held up. So that's all I got on it, guys. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of my future videos. And uh, until then, guys, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.